lads and lassies and welcome back to my channel, it's Simon from Mayhem. Today I'll be ranting about something that probably only two people care about, me and me. Um, but yeah, um, I just want to get into it. So as always, if you do enjoy this, make sure you like, drop a comment, subscribe for more, support on Patreon, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, links in the description. Yeah, so let's get into it. So this will probably be a very short video, but... So, at the start of the Xbox Series X kind of lifestyle, they started doing um, cases that were like this. Where they just had, you know, where is it? Yeah, X Series X, X One, and the Series X sticker up here, right? And then we started to see ones that were like this. Uh, what's a good example? Um, actually, I think the best example for this is probably the poster boy. Uh, so, and then we started to see ones like this, which, sorry, let me just get the light up here. So, which is like, as you can see, sorry, the lighting is awful. I do apologize. But as you can see, right, the whole the art goes up the whole way, and there's just this little bit up here that tells you what console it's for, right? Now, they've kept doing that because before the arts were, you know, you have the big stubborn bit at the top, yeah? And then you've got the spine, and then look at that. That is lovely how it goes all the way up, all the art goes all the way up, Xbox, Halo Infinite, it goes all the way up, yeah? Well, they've now started doing this. You know, normal cover, but then that green fucking egregious bit at the top. So they're not even making the boxes for Xbox One anymore. They're just putting a bit of green fucking material there and it looks awful. I actually hate it with a burning passion because like Lego Star Wars looks so nice with the spine. Like, and then you have it on your shelf, and it just looks like this. It just looks awful. And I don't get why some games do it. Like, Evil Dead does it. Dying Light does it. The Quarry does it. Tiny Tina's does it. Um, Halo Infinite and Star Wars, and Lego Star Wars. But they've since stopped doing it, and it looks awful. And I just don't get it. Like, because at first I was like, eh, I don't know how I feel about this art. But I really like the idea of having, like, all the art and then just a little bit at the top and then the spine being really full it looks really nice and it separates it out from the previous gen of games but now they've kind of bailed on that idea and i've just started putting green tabs at the top of everything and it pisses me off to no end um i'm, sh I'm sure there'll be someone else out there who agrees with me but it just looks so awful on a shelf like it really just looks so bad um and it just annoys me because like the last game that did it would have been I think it would have been the quarry yeah the quarry would have, would have been the last game to do it and it just oh i just don't get it um if anyone knows please do let me know but it just looks so awful and it, it just makes it so hard to distinct it like from the other ones and uh like i said this will be a short video because it's me getting angry but yeah it's it's something that, like came in like bits and then eventually now they've just stopped doing it because as you, as you saw Hogwarts Legacy and all the it just looks really awful on a shelf and yeah let me know how you guys feel about it because at least PlayStation keep with you know the PlayStation um, the same as you know on PS4 at least they keep with that so I can I can I give them credit for that but my lord um, anyway yeah this is a short round video I don't know when this will go up but yeah, let me know how you guys feel about it if you even care. But as always, if you do enjoy this, remember to give a like, drop a comment, subscribe for more. Support on Patreon, follow me in the description. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.